Hi, now here we have an example then on solving a trigonometric equation. We've got to find the solutions of the equation sine of 3x minus 15 degrees equals a half, for which x is greater than or equal to 0 degrees but less than or equal to 180 degrees. So if you'd like to try this, if you haven't done so already, give you a moment to pause the video, come back and check your work solution with mine. Okay, so let's see how you got on if you did try this. Well, first of all, let's just copy down what we're given, and that is sine of 3x minus 15 degrees equals a half. And we need to remove the sine here, so what we do is we take the inverse sine to both sides. So that's going to give us 3x minus 15 degrees equals the inverse sine of one half. Now at this point, what I tend to do is draw a quadrant diagram. I often find that this is far easier to work with than just working with graphs. If you're unsure about using the quadrant diagram, I've got tutorials on my website, examsolutions.net, that you can look at. Just look in the index under the quadrant diagram. Now, here we've got the sine of an angle, and it equals a positive value. And that means that sine is positive in the first quadrant, so mark a line in there, and the second quadrant, this quadrant here. So you mark another line equally inclined to this horizontal line here. And these two angles are exactly the same. So we're looking for possible solutions here. Well, the first one, starting from zero degrees, could be turning to the first blue line, and that's going to be a 3x minus 15 degrees, a possible solution. There's also another one, starting from zero again, we turn in an anti-clockwise sense round to the next line. That too is a possible 3x minus 15 degrees. Now when you take the inverse sine of a half, you'll find you get 30 degrees. So therefore, 3x minus 15 degrees equals 30 degrees. And that's our first solution. That's this one in here. That's 30 degrees. And because I've marked that angle as being the same as this one here, this little angle in here also is 30 degrees. So that corresponds with the red 3x minus 15. So that's that first solution. The next one the green solution is going to be 180 degrees minus this 30 degrees. So in other words, it's going to be 150 degrees. So that corresponds with the green solution here. Now, it doesn't end just here. I mean, what I'm going to be doing in a moment is adding 15 degrees to each of these and then dividing by 3. But because I'm going to be dividing by 3, I can afford to make my angles go further than what you see here. I know it says about x being less than 180 degrees, but what about 3x? We can afford to make this go a lot further. So what we do is we add 360 degrees to the first solution. It's like starting from here, going to here, and turning again a complete turn. That too would be a solution. So if I add 360 to the 30 degrees, we get 390 degrees. I can also add 360 to the 150 degrees. We've gone to here and we turn another complete turn. And that's going to give me 510 degrees. So when I add 15 degrees to each of these, it's going to leave me with 3x. So 3x would equal 45 degrees, 150 plus 15 is 165 degrees, 390 plus 15 is 405 degrees, and then 510 plus 15 is 525 degrees. Now I divide back by 3, and I end up with x equaling 15 degrees, 55 degrees, 135 degrees and 175 degrees. 
and there all the angles that are in the range 0 to 180 degrees. If I'd gone further than this then my answers would have been outside of this range. Now this is a common mistake I just pointed out here that I find quite often that a lot of people just write 30 degrees there then they add the 15, divide by 3 and they end up with x equaling say 15 degrees in this case and then they do their quadrant diagram. Don't do that, always draw your quadrant diagram at this point here otherwise you will go wrong. Okay, You need to get all your solutions for this angle here that you're taking the sign of. Okay, so I hope it's given you some idea then on that particular question.